Hey, welcome. Hey, Jada, thanks for having us. I uh, know you're really busy, but we're really excited to ask you 26 questions. Yeah, definitely, come on in. Uh, this is my on-campus apartment that I share with uh, my other three roommates. Nice. You've done a really good job decorating it. Um, what, what's it like living on campus for all four years? I have personally loved it. It's definitely helped um, me build a community on campus. When I was a freshman, I had a lot of upperclassmen friends that I was able to help build connections with since I was on campus with them. Um, and then now as a senior, I've served as an orientation leader these past couple of years. So I have a lot of underclassmen friends um, that I can always invite over to my apartment uh, just whenever I want, so. And where are you from? I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. And what are you involved in on campus? Um, so I'm really involved in the admissions department. Um, I'm there as an ambassador, a mosaic member, and a concierge. Um, and then also I'm involved in orientation staff, NAACP, as well as the First Generation Student Alliance. What's your favorite thing about Furman? I would definitely say the community. I have made so many amazing connections here, so many good friends, um, and I've just loved everyone that I've met here. I love those posters on your wall. What are they? Um, yeah, so these are just some of our local bars and restaurants are from around Greenville. Uh, me and my roommates, we all just kind of picked our favorite places. Uh, my personal favorite is Mr. Salsa's. It's the best restaurant in Greenville. Got it, Mr. Salsa. So what's your favorite spot in Greenville? Um, I would definitely say the Bond Secures uh, Arena. Um, it's where they have a lot of um, concerts, um, the Swamp Rabbit hockey team, and then also sometimes the Furman basketball team gets to play there for special occasions too. What's your best memory at the arena? Um, I would say probably when Furman played Wofford. Um, it was a very, very intense game, um, and Mike Bothwell won the game for us in a buzzer beater, and it was just absolutely insane. Where's your favorite place to hang out off campus? I would probably say the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Um, I just learned how to ride a bike this summer and I've been really taking advantage of it, taking my bike out to um, downtown Greenville and then also to Traveler's Rest as well. What's your major? I'm a public health major. Why did you choose public health? Um, so I started off taking some general education requirements. Um, I fell in love with the introduction classes that I was taking. The professors were absolutely amazing and it just felt like a little family and I've loved my time there ever since. So. What's been your favorite class so far? Um, I would probably say Intro to Acting with Jason Adkins. Um, I am not an actress, not involved in the drama department, but it was just an amazing experience. How'd you make your first friend at Furman? Um, so I made my first friend through a program called Summer Connections with the Cawthorne Center. Um, I made, a, it was before my, my freshman year here and me and him have been best friends ever since. Can you tell me more about the Summer Connections at the Cawthorne Center? Yeah, uh, so that's just a program that the Cawthorne Center puts on for incoming freshmen. Um, we get to come on campus for about a week over the summer. We get to get to know each other, um, get to know the campus, and then also just get to learn a little bit about vocational reflection and what the Cawthorne Center does. What's your favorite memory so far? Um, I would say probably the hot dog eating contest that I was in for Delta Gamma. Um, it was the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> And how many hot dogs did you eat? Um, I ate about two and a half hot dogs in 10 minutes. Uh, the winner had nine hot dogs, so I was kind of close. It looks like you've been to some pretty cool places in these pictures on your wall. Did you do a study away? Yeah, I studied abroad in Copenhagen, Denmark. What was that like? Um, yeah, can, is it possible to put some pictures up on the screen? Yeah, we can do that. Awesome. So I was there for five months. I got to go to a lot of really cool places. I made some new friends. Um, I took some really interesting classes and my family actually got to visit me while I was abroad as well. Um, and so it was just a really special experience that I absolutely loved. What about uh, mentors on campus? Do you have any? Yeah, um, I would say my main mentor on campus is Carly Bailey. She works in the admissions office. Um, she is just the best person ever. She's my mentor, my confidant, and just a really, really great friend and resource that I've had. What are your plans after graduation? Um, that is a good question. Uh, I might go to grad school. I might go to um, the Peace Corps. I might take a gap year. I am just not really sure what I'm going to do, honestly. <laughs> Got it. If you could describe Furman in one word, what would it be? Um, fabulous. Why? Why not? <laughs> What's one thing you can't live without? Uh, Trader Joe's. And how has Furman prepared you for life after graduation? 
Um, I would say Furman has done a really good job at helping me build my professional skills. Um, the Malone Center for Career Engagement specifically has helped me in creating my resume, um, creating my LinkedIn profile, and helping me prep for interviews for grad school and potential jobs or internship opportunities. Okay, so what do you feel like Furman has provided for you that no other school could have or maybe, you know, as well as Furman? Um, I would say the biggest thing that Furman has provided for me is a community that not only supports me, um, but also is willing to do anything they can to help me out along the way. Um, yeah. We know you got to get to class soon, so we'll wrap this up. Only two questions left. Why did you choose Furman? Um, I chose Furman because the moment I stepped on campus for my first tour, I just immediately felt at home and I knew that this was going to be a place that I could really grow and thrive as a person. Okay, last one, FDOC or LDOC? Definitely LDOC. Nice. Thanks so much for letting us ask you 26 questions. We'll see you around. Yeah, see you guys.